Hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Here in Chile, Florida, it is 5.54 a.m. on Monday morning. And I'm going to have my Jeffrey today because there's no school. Because um, it's Martin Luther King Day. So they closed the schools on Martin Luther King Day. It means there will be no mail today. I was going to go get blood work done today, but they're probably closed too, so I'll wait and do that later. Tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, I got to do it tomorrow. But, um, so I was, I was sitting here making stuff, and then I thought, well, I'm going to just turn on the camera. But what I was making was these here envelope tags that you can put on the side of a, on the side of a page and their embellishments you know and I got to where I don't I don't put a whole lot of embellishments glued to a page anymore because for the simple reason is because I like to be able to pull the embellishments off and journal underneath the embellishment and then put the thing back on the page and and then that works fine like a frog here so but aren't these cute see because see now here they're envelope so you can open the envelope and inside the envelope then you can put things like fun things whatever you want and here's a little piggy a bird and this little oval just whatever just surprises you can put in there or you can put secret messages in there and just decorate it put a paper clip on the back and then it slides right onto the page and so you can make them to side to side to slide it on the right side of the page or to the left side of the page so that's fun so i figured since i'm doing that i might as well turn on on the camera see here i have one the envelope made ready to embellish you can put just the envelope if you want just the envelope but then that might be a little bit boring so instead instead of just putting the envelope wait a minute did i um this one needs a word i didn't I didn't put a word on here. It needs to have a word. I like words. Oh, snap. That's two words. Oh, snap. I like these here words. I think they're cool. Cool words. Oh, where do I need that? Oh, right here. I'm going to put that right there. It says, oh, snap. Oh, snap. All right there gosh it's kind of chilly this morning first i'm going to show you how i do i got a couple envelopes here made already but um i use like a six by six paper or you can take you know and and especially if you have like um if you have like a six by six pad and it's got papers that you don't really use a lot oh here's a black one um then this is this is a fun way to use them or if you have 12 by 12s just cut them into six by sixes and then you can use them you can use them with with these make some embellishments out of this so i take a six by six and you can use any size but these ones are using a six by six paper and so then I just fold it corner to corner like this. So it looks like a, like a triangle. Looks like a triangle. See? What if I can zoom that in any further? Let me check something. Oh, no, we're zoomed in as far as we can zoom. I wonder what happens if you hit that button. Oh, I'm not going to hit that button because because I don't know what will happen. Okay. Then... I mark the center. I just make a little fold 
to mark the center there. See, there's the center. And then I put that point right to the center. It was just a little, little tiny, a little tiny bit of a fold. And so then I bend that down and fold it just where that point hits the center. But then I turn it back inside like this. So then it looks like this. Or like this if you're looking upside right. Like this if you're looking upside down. Then I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn this in. I don't have a measurement. Okay, maybe I should measure that. I kind of just eyeball things. Wait a minute. Do y'all? Oh. A ruler would be nice. A ruler. Just a sec. I got a rich over here. Oh, here. Here's a ruler. I'm going to turn that into... Okay, let me put that into two and a half inches. Just, just for giggles and stuff. Poop and giggles. Okay, now... I'm going to turn that in two and a half inches. Just in case you guys measure. I don't really measure. I just eyeball. Okay. So I turn that side in two and a half inches. And then I'm going to turn this side in two and a half inches. I'll just put my thumb there. My thumbnail. Okay. And then turn that in two and a half inches. Okay. Like that. See, then I have, that doesn't look equal on this side and this side, though. Doesn't look equal two and a half, two and a half. Okay, so it says it is equal. And then I take one of the, cor of the corners here, and it doesn't matter which one. And then wherever I made that little tiny fold right in the center, I use that as a mark to um, yeah I use that as a mark right in the center and I hold my fingernail there so that I can pull this up pull this corner up like this and make like a little square a square that's going to be my tuck in spot now I got to turn this down and make sure it's straight and it's not so I need to scoot this square down so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller make that square a little bit smaller see I folded it right there see how I folded it and I made like a little square I think I've done this before in a video before sort of like this But then I want to get that right where when you turn this down, it's going to tuck into that square. See? Okay, so that tucks in there good enough. So then I glue this. Do you know where this fold actually comes from, this envelope? Um... If you go to like uh, like the county fair, if you go to the county fair in our county anyway, and sometimes you can buy like a sandwich or a like a hamburger or something like that. They will take a piece of deli wrap. And fold it like this. This is the fold that they use. And then, except of course it's a 12 by 12. And then um, the hamburger, they slide right into the deli wrap like that. So then you've got this. And then you can flip this down and eat your hamburger. And it's not going to drip all over your food, all over your whatever you're wearing. So that's where this fold actually came from. Is back in the carnival days. So they at the carnivals, you may still see 
how they wrap a hamburger like that. Or they can, um, like, sometimes you can buy French fries, like French fries, and um, they'll just fold a piece of deli wrap this way, fill it full of French fries, and put the sauce over it or something. It makes like a little pocket. That's where this here fold come from. From the carnies, the carnival people. Um, why did I put that? I don't need to put that on there. Okay, so there I've got my envelope. See, now this folds down and it fits right into that tuck. But I will start to, I like that black. Um, you, then you just start kind of decorating the whole shebang. And then when I decorate, I have no theme. No rhyme, no reason, no nothing. I just do whatever I have. And I like to get a bunch of them made up. Now see, when I'm decorating on the inside, because I decorate the inside, and I decorate the outside of the flap, both. And But I just make sure I don't cover up this. I don't cover up this this little this little opening for this square and then i don't cover up well i can cover this corner but i want to make sure that i um i don't put anything thick on it because it still has to fit in here and then when i decorate like the top part i don't let anything flip over the top because then then if while on the page, if there was anything sticking up over the top, you would not be able to open it like this. You'd have to take it off the page to open it. So that's why I don't have anything sticking this way or the top. But you can go over the side. You can go, I, I just go over the inside that's going to be on the page. But you can all, well, see, this is out a little bit on the outside, which you can make it go on the outside too. But I don't have as much going onto the part that will stick outside the page as I do that goes on the inside of the page. I just thought I'd throw that in for no extra charge. Now, um, I, so now I'm just going to glue... I'm going to glue this on here. Because I, I don't know, for some reason I always do the inside first. And I glue stuff on the inside first. And and I have a, a dish, not a dish. I have a, um, I don't have a dish. I have, I don't know where my words come from sometimes. They come from somewhere. I have this little... I have this little, I got a 12 by 12 iris box over here. And all I keep in that box is just scraps of little things or maybe little die cuts or, you know, that kind of thing. So that when I'm making embellishments, I just can go in that box and get stuff. Just get stuff. Boy, it has been cold. I just don't understand why it would get cold in sunny Florida. It's not supposed to happen like that. Not at all supposed to happen like that. So I got my warm little coffee. Cheers. Mm. Can you see this, what I bought? It's a coffee warmer. Well, they call it a candle or mug warmer. Now, I don't know about a candle, how that works. If you put a candle on there, it's just going to melt. So, I don't know. But I bought that and my, I leave my coffee over there. It stays warm. Or hot chocolate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can put that on there, too. So... So that's what I do with that. That's what that's all I know with buy it, buy it. And so 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 yeah, that's that's what I do. So then I just 
dink around in all of this neat stuff. What's this? In this moment, time stood still. And you put a date on there. Oh, that's cool. I hear my neighbor's rooster is waking up. Hi, Sammy. Getting in your bed there? Oh, where's your blanket? Did you move your... Here. Here. Where's your blanket? There you go. Get under your blanket. And take a little rest. I to put Sammy. Sammy, just... If I don't stay in the bed, Sammy's not going to stay in the bed. Sammy's got to get up if Mommy gets up. Okay, so now... Let's see. Do I need something under there? I just feel like everything needs to have... I like just to put lots of layers of things. One thing I do too is I punch people in the nose. I don't punch people in the nose. That just seemed to come out of my mouth. Now see this... Yeah... When, when I have, like, extra pieces of paper that are just small, you know, after I'm done doing something, then I, um, then I just punch little punches, just little things. I punch little things, and I punch things. Well, that's what I said. Jeez. I, maybe I shouldn't be doing a video because I don't know how to talk. But I punch things out of my extra little scraps of things. And uh, my scrap paper, I just punch little shapes. And then I just dump them in this here box so that I have them when I'm, when I'm, um, when I'm oh, making embellishments. This one says, Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. I'm going to put that inside the envelope because it fits in there and I like it. And that is the best reason. Whoops. Whoops, I dropped something. Does this fit in there? See, that's kind of neat too. It's a little wide. All right, so I'll put that there, on um, there, and I don't want to cover that up. I want, oh, I should have inked that. I didn't ink that. I should have inked this, too, but I, I didn't. So I'll just ink the edge that's poking out. There we go, like that. That's cool. That's pretty cool. And then on the top... I've used almost this. See, this is what I do when I when I can't sleep any longer. And now since I'm waiting for Jeffrey, which he'll be here in about an hour and 15, 20 minutes. So I could still be sleeping. But, I, but my body says, nope, you've had enough sleep. You've had enough slip. You don't need any more slip. That doesn't show too much on the black. And see, see how I don't really, oh, that one's prettier on that side. See how I don't really have anything that matches? Nothing really matches in color, but it all looks good once you get it together. Once you get it together, it looks perfectly beautiful. And, um, oh, look at this pretty glittery star. Maybe that star should be on here, too. Since we are all movie stars. Did you know that we're movie stars? Let's see. We could have our star in that sidewalk where they put stars in Hollywood with our names on it. We could. We should. 
we should have our names in a star, all of us. Oh, look at that cute. Isn't that neat? It's like an old-fashioned telephone dial. Do you ever dial a telephone that had one of them on it? That's cool, but it's too big. It's it's cool, but it's too big. Oh, there's a piece stuff. I'm going to put that in there, too. There's like all kind of surprises inside. So whoever gets this, and who knows, it might only be me. Oops, don't fall, box. Will this fit in there? That fits in there too, but it needs a little string. Here's string. So I'm going to just put a little string on this in poke it in this hole and then this one I'm just going to tie in a knot sometimes I slip it through but this one I'm just going to tie in a knot in a knot tie it in a knot I like the word knot better than knot tie it in a knot it says treasure on there. Put that in there too. I can let that string. No, I can't let that. Oh, yeah, I can. I can still shove that all the way in there and then let the string hang out the side. That's pretty. That's pretty. It is very pretty. Now, then I can find a gem, like a diamond, like this real diamond. Maybe that one's too big. I mean, it's not too big. I shouldn't say it. purple. Look at that. Got to have something purple. And, um, yeah, this is like a purple flower. Oh, so I should put, yeah, I think I'm going to put this flower first, this paper flower. You know, sometimes some people say less is more, but I always say more is more. And then I'm going to put some more glue right down here. And we'll put this purple flower on the middle top right there. That's, now that, I'm telling you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, dogs and cats, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That is just beautiful. And then I'm going to put... This number 14 on there for what reason? No reason. No reason except that it fits. And then the corner, see, I was careful not to cover up the corner. So I can still put that corner down there. Now we need the paper clip on the back. And so... That's a simple, a simple task. A simple task. I'll just use this circle your lure. Circle your, circle your, circle -y. Wait a minute, let me practice that a minute. Circle, circular, circular piece of paper. And put the... I just take that and I'll put the clothespin on there. That's not a clothespin. That's a paper clip. I'll put that on there like that. Then on the inside, so I left, see that's going to be the outside. This is the inside. And so, why is my phone doing that? It couldn't be that 5% five, 5 remaining. I had it plugged in all night. Oh my gosh. I got a wiggly plug on my phone. And and if the wiggly plug. Oh, I didn't want that on that side. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Pay attention to what you're doing. 
Sometimes I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm paying attention. I'm too poor to pay attention, though. Now, see, if you're rich, you can pay attention. But if you're poor, you can't pay attention. I'm not real poor, though, because I started my Etsy store. And, oh, God bless America. People are buying things from my Etsy store, and I'm so excited because I was bought. I bought my husband his birthday, the Hubster. His birthday is in about a month, a month and five days. 20th of February is his birthday, and um, I never have money to go buy him a like a real present. I usually go buy him like a little box of chocolates, pair of socks. Or something and um, but this year do I want that on that side or do I want it I want it to clip on this side um, this year because thank you to all of you who have bought things off of my Etsy store I actually had money to buy him something and I can't say what it is just because he sometimes he watches my videos. But I'll tell you when once he gets it. Because I this time I really want him to be surprised. And he's going to be surprised. He will be surprised, I'm sure. And um and this it's because I have my Etsy store and I was able to actually buy him something. And I I mean, like, usually I have to take money out of the, if I buy a gift for somebody, I got to take money out of the, you know, our funds, our family, our our budget. I got to figure it out, which I do. I can do that. Amazing. These are good words on here. I'm going to put this amazing word. This is an amazing word. Amazing is an amazing word. And I put that on that flag right there. I like to have a word. I like words and phrases and stuff. See that? Now that can go. You can actually, oh, I should make one with. See, I like all them la layers. I just love to layer stuff all together. And just a mismatched bunch of layers. So here's one. I'll make another whole envelope. Just in case Kate, just in case you didn't catch the first one. Let's see what I can do here. I like that black. Black is fun. So I'll do I'll do this again. Wait a minute. I get a little bit of a slurp. Mmm. got that vanilla creamer in it okay I'm gonna fold it up here so it's like a triangle see now I've done it once so for those of you who like short videos you can you can hang up the phone now because I'm just going to kind of redo what I just did because this might end up to be a long video since I'm all by myself and um, I don't like to be by myself so now I'm not by myself because you guys are here so then I I, I just I just kind of go like this just to make a little notch there so I know where that middle is I would make a mark but it's black I, and I don't know where my white pen is I don't think it's right up there with my pens no it's not so now I'm going to take this front point and go right down to where I just made that little fold. Then I know that that's right in the middle, see. But then I flip it around to the back or to the inside of the envelope, see. I flip that around. Now I'm going to take this and like I said, I go about two and a half inches and I... um fold that in see 
See, what I usually do is I fold one side in and then I look and see how much is folded up here. And I see how much that is. And then I take the other side and I just kind of make it match. That's how I eyeball it without, without um, measuring. But see then, if I did that one two and a half inches, it'd be about the same. There we go. And just make sure it's straight down here at the bottom. And then it's going to look like this. You'll see it kind of over flaps a little bit. Then we want this. This part, I stick my finger in that hole right there in that fold. And, I, and I'm going to pull it up. Pull that up to make a square. That does not look like it's in the middle. So then let's make a smaller little square. Okay, now... Then I pull this down. I fold this down to see if I'm right. And I see that no, it's not right. So I have to adjust this. So I'll adjust that just a little bit. Make the square a little bit bigger. And it scoots over that way a little bit. Because we just want to make sure that that fits into the square. And now I have a little catty wampus. But, you know, it's okay. It's just fine. It's just fine. It's like there's not going to be a test. You're not going to get graded on it. You'll get no marks off if it's not completely, exactly correcto mundo. So, there you go. That's that's how that goes. There we go. We glued, Now I got that side glued in. Then I'm going to glue this side, that flap, and flap it over. You can actually make a two. If you didn't glue this, if you only glued it right at the bottom, you'd actually have two pockets. You could slip stuff right in here and in here. But I, because I want my decoration all over, I just glue the whole thing down. Because I like to embellish the whole thing. But you could. You could just glue the edges of the bottom. Then you'd have a pocket here. You could stick stuff in here. And then you could um, stick stuff in here. And just decorate here. I might do that on the next one. Okay. And I always seem to like to have book page. I just think book page. Book page I think is just a real awesome thing and I use this I use this um, Tim Holtz distress oxide vintage photo to kind of age that a little bit go around the edge and then a little on the top it just makes it look aged even if it is already aged which this particular this particular book page is um, already kind of old. But I want it to be older. I like old things. I like old people. I love old people. Too many Christmas. I love old people. And you know what also I love? I love for old people to look their age. I think that is the most beautiful look. Now, there are some people, and I don't have a problem with those who want to go and get facelifts and all these tucks and things and stuff. They can go ahead and do that if they want to. I don't mind. That's fine. That's if they want to do that. And I'm not saying that they're not beautiful after they put in $6 jillion into their face to make them look young. I think that's fine, but the look of an elderly person with their skin showing its age and showing its laugh lines and just all of that. I love, love, love old people. In fact, I, I save pictures. I... Like if I'm, you know, I'll save pictures like out of a, out of a um, magazine and such. 
I save pictures of of elderly people. It's like I hoard them because I look I can look at them pictures and then I just wonder. I just wonder where all they've been, what have they done to earn all of those age lines. And I, you know, I can make up in my own head if they was a coal miner or if, if it was like a grandma that baked all the time. And, you know, I don't know. I just love, I worked with the elderly for quite a few years. And so because I worked with the elderly, that might be partly why. I don't know. But, um, and, and some of the elderly that were real elderly, but they did have work done when they were younger. It kind of really showed that they had work done in different areas. And yet the ones that didn't have work done and just let nature take its course, they actually, oh, I don't want to say that they were more beautiful because they weren't more beautiful, but it's just like they had more of a story to tell. A real story. And um, real stories are, are, are fun. Re real stories are just so much fun. And they're so... <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what to... I don't know exactly what to... Um, what to call it. But, oh my God, that says arsenic on it. Yeah, I don't know exactly what to call it. But, but yes, such, such beauty, such, I don't know, just such beauty in the elderly. Just, I got a picture of my Aunt Zelna. Z Aunt not, not Aunt Zelma, that's a different aunt. Um, aunt, why can't I think of her name? Oh, I'm embarrassed now, I can't think of Aunt. Vernie, Aunt Vernie. She lived up in, um, Aunt Vernie lived up in, in Virginia. I'm getting terrible with my words. I'm embarrassed. Um, Aunt Vernie lives up in Virginia. Bless her heart. She she had wrinkles, and I have a picture of her sitting on her front porch, and I still have that picture up on my bulletin board. It's just a snapshot, and I love her. I just I just the picture shows her age. It shows that um, it it shows. And I mean, this lady lived a very full life. She helped other people. She baked for other people. She was always helping other people. She just was that kind of a lady, and 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 it shows in her. In it just shows that she was all about others and I'm putting a little white border around this little boy and this dog the little the little white border around it kind of helps it will it still fit where I wanted to put it yeah I'm gonna put it right there um, but yeah I heard I look at that picture still every day because it's right there when in the bulletin board when when you walk in my door and I look at that picture and I, I can just imagine, I can just imagine everything <clears throat> that she's been through. And I, and I just 
can imagine and remember the goodness about this lady. She's actually my husband's aunt, but I, I took her as my own aunt. I almost decided to live with her. When we first went to see her, the first time we went to see her up in Virginia, my husband, when I first met her, my husband says, well, we're going to go up to Virginia. I want you to meet Aunt Vernie. And she lives on top of a mountain. And I thought, oh, okay, well, that's that's nice. We'll go. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. And um, when he said on top of a mountain, I didn't take that literally that she lived on top of a mountain until I got up there. We got up there to Virginia, and guess where she lived? She lived on top of a mountain. Oh, so we get up there. We're up there. First of all, when we were getting close, when we were getting close, I was seeing these signs that said, watch out for falling rocks. That right there just about... I, you know, it says watch for falling rocks. I guess any of you that live up there around Virginia, you've probably seen those signs that say watch for falling rocks. Well, when you come to Florida, when you live in Florida, and you have never really been out of the state, um, then... You know, you don't think about falling rocks. There's nothing for falling unless there's a meteor or something that comes down upon you. And so, but, but yeah, that we don't have to worry about, look at this. This is a three cent stamp. It's a copy of a free, three cent stamp. But these are fun things right here that I'm going to put inside this envelope. And just fun things now, see? So, if that's inside of a, oh, you know what? This one's just a cat too wide. So I'm just going to sliver off a little bit in there off of that. Just a sliver off of this side and a sliver off of this side. But yeah, that had me scared to death. Watch out for falling rocks, which, you know, as you're driving down the road, you know, there's, you see a cliff on this side and a mountain on this side, a stone wall on this side scares the bajig That was pretty scary. Mm -hmm. That was pretty scary. So then we actually start getting close to her house on top of the mountain. And now when the hubster told me she lives on top of the mountain, he wasn't kidding. Here we go up these... They called them switchback roads, where you're just going zig zigzagging up like one side of the mountain, and and I'm and I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, gosh, I need medication for this, and 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 I think, what happens if you have a flat tire? Where did you go? You can't get off the side. You can't pull off side of the road. You pull off side of the road. You pull off side of the mountain. Then you can't, you can't get off. I mean, you can't pull on the side of the other side because the mountain's there. And and so look at that. That says arsenic. Arsenic. Should I put that on there with arsenic on there? Maybe. We'll see. Not yet, though. Um, yeah, and so... Oh, and oh, it's funny, too, because on, on this road that's going up to Aunt Vernie's, you can look off into the side and you see like a little chunked out part of the mountain... And then there's a mobile home there where people live in a mobile home. And you think, how in Sam Hill did they get that mobile home up this mountain? And then the mobile home, to get it to be even, to get it to, to where it's a level, the floor is level, so everybody doesn't roll out to one end, 
one end of the mobile home is like at ground level. The other end of the mobile home is up like on 10 foot, 10 foot risers. I kid you not. I'm not telling you the story. I'm telling you the real facts. And so then we finally get up to Aunt Vernie's. And I have to sit there in the car for a couple minutes for my heart to get back where it belonged. Yes, my heart was not where it belonged. My heart was in a bad place. I don't know where it was, but it wasn't in a good place. And um, so then we go in. And, of course, then we get our hugs and stuff because Southern folks do that. And um, I said to my Aunt Vernie, I said, I really hope you like me, love, because I ain't leaving. I'm staying right here with you. I'm not going back down that mountain. And um, so she told me I could stay. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. She's the sweetest lady, sweetest lady. She had us some beans and cornbread cooked when we got there. She was a country girl. And yes, she lived on top of the mountain. And she lived in a mobile home. The middle of the mobile home was pretty much at ground level. But both ends of the mobile home were up on risers. So you could actually almost walk. Well, you couldn't walk. Well, you could have walked, scooted under, not bent over. Under either end, where the middle was, I mean, the top of the mountain. And so in the morning, it was so beautiful. Sitting out on the front porch, because she had, like, the whole front of the mobile home. She had a, um, she had, like, a porch like a front porch that you could go sit on the porch so we're out there and we're sitting out there drinking coffee in the morning or whatever we were drinking hot chocolate and I think it was coffee but and that doesn't really matter what we were drinking but we could see because then down both sides of the mountain both that you look to the left you look to the right and you see the clouds you see the clouds coming up through the mountains, the fog and clouds. It was so beautiful, so beautiful. And so, yes, it was at the front of the mountain and on top of the mountain. And then if you walked back behind her house, you would go maybe 200 feet behind if you walk straight back about 200 feet and look down you were on a cliff I mean it was like she lived on top of the mountain I loved it up there but when it come time I didn't leave the whole time I the whole time we stayed there we stayed there a few days and I and I didn't leave my my son left he went and and with his stepbrother, and they went to go see a movie, and then my husband and his son, they went off somewhere and did stuff, but I said, I'll stay up here with Aunt Vernie. I want to get to know Aunt Vernie. Truth of the matter be, I was scared to death. I was scared to death to go back down that mountain, and, um, and I was really considering how much fun it would be to live on the mountain, so... But, but, um, okay, what am I going to put here? But I loved, I, it, it was beautiful up there. But like she, like she, um, awesome. I love the word word. These are really good words on here. I'm going to put awesome right there. Because it was on awesome on top of that mountain. But like she would say, like before the winter, she had a shed in the front that got filled with coal. Somebody would come, she'd have the coal man come and bring coal to fill that shed up with coal. So she had coal for the whole winter. She did all her shopping that she needed done 
that was done before winter set in because she wasn't going to go down that mountain on icy roads. And, um, and so she would take care of herself and did the things she needed. And the things she needed to do, she got those done before the snow started. And she did not leave that mountain the whole winter. She did not leave it the whole winter. She stayed right there, stayed put, and had everything she needed for the whole winter. And that's what I would have done, too. I wouldn't have left. And the thing is, you know, the coal trucks, because they still harvest coal out of the mountains. And the coal trucks were big. They were huge, big old coal trucks. And now when they're going down them switchback roads, they didn't care. They just drove like they were a bat out of H-E double hockey sticks. And I don't know how come they could drive that fast going down that mountain and not... Because, I mean, there's switchback roads. I mean, you go like this, and then there's a hairpin turn, and then there's a hairpin turn, and then there's a hairpin turn. And them rock trucks just fly. They just fly through there like they're crazy. Like they're crazy. And I can't even think of a different word. They had to have been crazy. And so, I just came pretty. I said, I said, do they, um, like, ever fall off the edge of the mountain? She goes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's been plenty of car wrecks on them mountains that they just fall right off. Boy, that was a memorable trip to see Aunt Vernie up in the mountains. After that, it wasn't as bad, but that very first visit, yeah. And then when we left, we left um, Aunt Vernie's and we went to um, Alabama to pick up my granddaughter. And I was thinking, oh, thank goodness we get to go to Alabama and and get Katie, and we can get out of these silly mountains. I did not realize that where my Katie was, there were still mountains, because she lived up there, kind of north of Birmingham, and there's still mountains there, too. I was so glad when we got back to Florida. The flat lands of Florida. Florida. Now, see there? Isn't that pretty? There's that envelope, and all its little embellishments. And then this. I'd use my hot glue gun on that flower, but it's in the other room because the hubster's been making me boxes. He's been cutting me boxes, perfect size boxes for my heat. Look at this box. He made this box out of a piece of cardboard. But see, my... um. Like, like this, this here is one of my journals. It already sold. So I got to mail that. I was going to mail it today, but there's no mail today. But um, this one's already sold. So it's going to get wrapped in tissue first. And then look how perfect it fits in that box. He made them boxes especially perfect. He measured my journals. And, and he made boxes. He's just amazing but yeah this one's sold so that one gets packaged up today and it'll be mailed tomorrow so if you're the buyer I already printed everything and it says that I'm mailing it today but today's a holiday for the mailman so I won't mail it today I'll mail it tomorrow though it'll be ready to go tomorrow okay now then I want to Get me a scrapola piece of paper here. Let me see. Just a minute. Hold your horses. Hold on to your drawers. That's what my husband says. He always says, hold your drawers. I'm coming. Okay, so so then you'll hold your drawers. Let's see. Yeah, I'll put that on there. And, okay, see, now so that I'll just take a 
I, I use the large paper clips. If you're doing a real small one, you'd use a small one. And let the large part of the paper clip be on the outside that shows. All right. That's going to be on the outside. I'll put that just like this. Now then, so then on the inside, I take a little piece of masking tape. And I put that on there to hold that so that won't slide off. And then I put the glue around here. Let me get that glue on there. Boy, it feels like it gets colder. I guess I should turn the heat on before before Jeffrey gets here. He's going to, I don't want him to get cold. Now, I got something sticking out both sides of this, so I'm going to. I'm going to put this one on this side. Let's stick it out on that side. See there? So I'm just going to put that on that side. So it'll glue. It'll slip in on that on the right hand side of the page. And that glue has to dry under that flower. And then I've already put little things inside. Little, little surprises inside. And I just like to put fun things. Like this here says arsenic. I'll probably put, it's an arsenic label. I'll probably put that inside one as well. But see how pretty? And so, like, I like to get just a going on these and make, and make um, a whole bunch. So I have a whole bunch made. And because I like to, in my journals that I make to put on Etsy, I put them on there. And I put them in my own journals that I make for myself and my family and stuff. But I think these are so pretty. I just love them. And you can just, just, just keep you a scrap box. Just keep you a scrap box with just little scraps of things. And also like little, like little um, pieces of greeting cards. And little things off of creating cards. And it's just whatever you want. And just decorate up that envelope. Like this one here, I got a little tag on there. It's a little, it's a little, oh, I must have put that back in the box. And my box is huge. I have a little package of those little itsy bitsy tags. And those are fun because they're so little. Okay, so they're, they're so little I cannot find it. But So we won't worry about that right now. But, yeah, we won't worry about that right now. Well, I don't worry about anything anyhow, so I don't worry. I do not worry. Okay, I'm going to get a book. Oh, this time I'm going to get this book. This book. Start my day. 6.53. Yes, Jeffrey will be here pretty soon. And I've been here almost an hour showing you how I um, how I make my envelopes. Okay, we're going to see. Why do I have a bookmark right here? Okay, this is what we'll read. I think I just stuck it in there. I don't think. Yes. Okay. Um, like I say, these are Heart Thoughts, A Treasury of Inner Wisdom by Louise Hay. I got this book sent to me by, um, from a friend that lives in the, over in the UK. She sent this to me. Her name is, is, um, her name is, oh God. Just a minute. Wait a minute. Oh no, if she's watching this and, and I can't even think of her. Nikki. Okay, Nikki. Oh, I'm sorry, Nikki. I love you, Nikki. She sent me this book because I love Louise Hay. I love positive affirmations. I love positive thoughts. I keep them going all day long because I don't ever want to be a negative person. I want to be a positive person and I want to think. I think good about people. I'm optimistic. I'm not pessimistic. I'm an optimistic person and um, I find good in everything some even some things that you would think there's no good in that this is terrible 
look far enough, there's going to be some good. Okay, but anyway, positive affirmations. By practicing breathing, you drop the barriers holding you back and begin to open up and expand. It is a beginning point. I breathe in love and flow with life. Are you expanding or contracting? When you expand your thinking, your beliefs, and everything about yourself, the love flows freely. When you contract, you put up walls and shut yourself off. If you are frightened or threatened or feeling that something is not right, begin to breathe. Breathing opens you up. It straightens your spine. It opens your chest. It gives your heart room to expand. Instead of going into total panic, take a few breaths and ask yourself, do I want to contract or do I want to expand? That's a very good and probably something I should have read before I went in the mountains. But yes, that's good. That's a very good one for today. I do like that one. And I want to expand. I don't want to contract. I don't want to get in within myself. I was there once in my life and I don't want to go back. I love where I am now in my life. And I love all of you. I love all of you. And I pray to God that you have a good day today. I pray that he watches over every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. It should be stopped.